if it is going to be a, a, a mid one invoker than we are. Yes, going to be in for a treat. They're going to kind of leave this life stealer out to dry. Again, no real ease of access here for the life stealer and, and kind of tough matchups, even if he did have them. Uh, just trying to kill off a terror blade as life stealer takes so, so long. Uh, this is going to be maybe side the, the, happening a lot in the early first maybe six minutes where Yerex is looking to kill, for example, mid one, and it, it, it could have happened. I saw mid one was getting pretty low, but he stabbed up. But Chen decide, uh, probably decided to go to the bottom, which ended up in getting a kill. And S4 on top lane. Oh, he's what a nice to play. Keep himself alive. Jerax was in the right place at the right time. Specifically, those golems. You get so many boulders thrown at you. But with the cold oh, snap as well, it makes it a little more painful. They will find a good angle on oh, fly, the bottom lane. lane. Uh, this hero does not have a lot of armor. He, is he has easy nothing to take down. on him. And he will be going down. No tail. Just gonna watch. He'll pop metamorphosis. Uh, nice. this, this seems uh, like a waste of time. Oh, he's keeping top. <laughs> he's like, I mean, if I can't gank mid, I'm gonna gank top. And uh, if Bada was 6, this would actually be possible. Are they baiting? Are they, they're just baiting, actually. But I think Farah might just die straight up well. Well, S4 is not that healthy right now. And oh, nice silence. Oh, what stealer. a silence. He's diving in with the phase boots, and they will gank the Batrider with Lifestealer. I mean, that was so odd that I don't think OG expected it, expected it at all. It's it's so bizarre. Just, just watching what happened is bizarre. And then, like, how are you going to react to something like that? You know, it's... You're not expecting that at all. Oh, now uh, Bada, he teleported down to this bottom lane. He has that Scythe, and Necrophos has a lot of magic damage. They'll miss the clap, they will land the Shockwave, and they will definitely land the Scythe, killing off No-Tail. Man, you do ne you never expect these type of rotations. Like, to have that Lifeser go top, and then to have Fada kind of switch places with him afterwards. They'll nail the Terrorblade down to the floor. Fada, though, is going to be a little bit oh, mid lane. in the front lines. This cask is going to be thrown out, but the Chen Creeps buffering him so easily. They lift up Jerax. Out of his roll and Fada, five stacks of napalm, no big deal. We get the last hit with the level three death pulse regen. And for OG, there's gonna be so many creatures wandering around the map. You're not sure which one of them. I mean, has an he thinks it's a Shen creep. Like, I mean, if he's on point, he can know that it's not. But I don't think he will know. Yeah. Oh, it's not. <laughs> he doesn't have mana for rage. He can't commit. Oh. Oh, and now the Necrophos is gonna get rolled in on Firefly on the deck and Necrophos heals Ghost Shroud, but. Can't get his stick charges off in time before that Firefly tick comes in. Vada does have a casual cloak right now, so he's not incredibly easy to kill. Uh, well, Yapsor is incredibly easy to kill, although he will get a Telekinesis off on the Batrider. Jack Firefly trying to make a break for it, but he's going to get pulled in by the lasso. Still with the Hand of God now up on Puppy. They will get a lot of space here as S4 is going to get hit oh by the Sunshine and the Scythe. Yapsor barely took any HP from that, and that is going to be a... Disastrous smoke gank there from OG Yapsor. Yeah, so still, of course, does have that Firefly for later, but Fada's also here, and they do have a Scythe at the ready. Not quite sure if it's enough damage to kill off Resolution. Doesn't seem like they actually know that Resolution's there. They do know, however, that there's a hero over here, and it's Fly. They will just demolish the Witch Doctor. Super easy kill. And now they're kind of hoping that someone teleports into the Oh, Resolution? Lane. Resolution is spotted now. Oh, but... that was so close. Yep, so almost managed to lift him. He's out of invis too, so Resolution has a close brush with death. Jerax is not looking too hot either though, he's gonna get lifted up by Yapsor. Sunstrike is going to be off the mark, but his rollout is kinda cancelled as they box him in. He'll kick Fada away, <laughs> maybe deny that scythe, but still he's gonna go down. Plays with his bat. Yeah, I think they have to almost do something soon on, uh, on OG. Mid one is totally free farming, completely uncontested, and you know, that that sounds scary, you know, mid one invoker free farming, haven't really had any pressure on him for 17 minutes, so, I mid mean, resolution is matching his farm, so that's good, but, oh mid lane, this is a very far. weird goal. Oh, again sees it coming, telekinesis S4, and now S4, he doesn't have a 4 staff, Sunstrike is gonna land. Yapsor reflexes. They're recognizing the heroes that are problematic right now. It's resolution mostly. It will be too hard counter. They're gonna roll in miss, but they do get the lasso off onto the Rubik. Bring him down, but at what cost? Ace is gonna tear into that Bat Rider. Now jump into Fada, who's just gonna try to escape from No Tail and Jerax with the Ghost Shroud. Not really sure if that's gonna work as resolution is still here to do that damage. LSA and the right clicks. They'll take oh, him down yeah, and they'll take down Ace. Off to the side, Puppy will try to TP. Looks like he'll survive his creep. 
goon squad. Uh, one creep, two creep, three goes down. They save the centaur. That is not a good idea. We already saw how much damage Invoker can do with a uh, combo on the Lina. They will oh. run into Fada first. He does grab his Relic though, so even if he dies, not a big deal. He also has his Hood for the barrier with Hand of God. He will get Death Warded as well, and finally will go down. Is there any response here from Secret? The Firefly already on the deck. Oh, they could, in theory, go for a play. They will steal Conjure Image. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's time to right-click things as Rubik. Oh, They'll okay. catch the Terrorblade out in a bad position with the Rock. Do a lot of damage to him and Jarex right behind him. Jarex is going to die to the dots. As no oh, he got hit by EMP. He's out of no mana. Mana. He got hit with the EMP and now he can't actually sunder anything. Fly's going to try to keep him alive with that heal, but... He's going to put himself at a lot of risk in doing so. No-Tail is going to actually not get hit with that Ice Wall, but still he doesn't have any mana, so I don't see how he's going to get away from this one, especially when the Sun Strike it was, doesn't even matter. Ace gets the kill. Not only safe, but they they played safe, but they managed to farm at the same time, which is pretty good for them. And another time, oh! Going to be grabbed by S4. The pipe is going to help him quite a bit as Fada does jump in right into the middle of things. Uppy will go down, Hand of God now off the table. And Ace is going to try to gun for Fly, but doesn't have actually have any true sight. Resolution can have quite a bit of damage from the Invoker as well. BKB, though, will be able to slip out and is in the back. It's Ace by himself getting picked off. There's the Ice Wall and the Laguna Blade stolen by Yapsor, which will kill off No Tail. And they'll also drop Fly, but at the cost of Fada. Yapsor mid one, the Soul Survivors here as they do very aggressively look for some of those fights. And they'll maybe find S4 oh, and Four Staff. Just gets him up to the high ground. Resolution is still here. He thinks Invis is going to keep him safe. He's going to make a lot of damage. Pushed back by the Deafening Blast. Couple more right clicks will do him in. Actually does end up killing himself. But Secret, that Sentry and Ob's combo dropping a little bit too late. For the I mean, it's fine. Game. You don't have to find my smoke. I think for my smoke is generally better. As for... They will just you want find to... a target nearby. There is a... Bat, there's a Terror Blade, just illusions for right now. Fly's in a pretty vulnerable spot right now. And they will catch him with a cold snap. They do silence the invoker, but it doesn't matter. He's super dead. Puppy's charging forward. Oh, and Fada is as well with the Ghost Shroud slowing down a handful of heroes. Ace is gonna pop out. S4 is gonna force staff out without using a lasso. And with the tornado on him, he may just go down to that scythe now onto the terror blade. Oh. Sunstrike there as well. Will not connect. It will be a forced buyback onto Fly as from the high ground he is going to do quite a bit of damage to his death orb. We can see now the difference that a Chen makes. With the Hand of God, will keep them all fairly healthy. Laguna Blade still stolen. Will end up killing off No Tail. Fought with the Ghost Shroud. Trying to slip out right now. Derek, he is going to keep that magnetize on the enemies, but it's not doing quite enough with that Insight Aura. They'll try to go for the Life Stealer, but end up giving over another spell towards Yapsor. Resolution on the front lines. Oh, oh. the dodge of the Laguna Blade from Yapsor. We said earlier, he's he's a he's an above average Rubik player. So easy to disrespect. Oh, top lane. The value they have on these auras. They will catch him on the top, though. The lasso, they'll bring him uh, back. Ah, they in. messed up. Yeah, they don't Radiant's quite have enough CC and damage there. So Midwan's gonna survive and fly. Oh, bottom lane. Left behind by his allies. They are all were on top lane partying. He was left alone at home. Feels bad. Man. Can't and will maybe catch the Rubik here. That's a self fuel and a blink out. Now it's gonna set up perfectly. This damage from Lina though is being mostly blocked by the auras from Puppy. They still will finally kill off the Rubik in the end. EKB and Resolution holy strong right now, but the Scythe will oh. put a quick end to that Terror Blade. Resolution now the only one who's really doing damage, and with the nukes from the Chen, will get kicked out by Jerax. Oh, yeah, right. Still is hit with that cold snap, but it looks like out of Radiance range. We'll be able to make it back to her fountain. S4 though, maybe doesn't have that luxury. Four staff down to the low ground now. We live in a mirror world, seems like, for this fight. S4 blinking away from his base, away from any help. And maybe he's just going to waste some time, but uh, he's being chased down by an invoker, a pissed off invoker at that. Unstoppable for mid one. And Ace and Fada in the meantime, both very healthy after having very quickly dealt with that Terror Blade. We'll deal with bottom lane, Rax, and maybe even a second lane. Puppy still has his entire army alive. I don't know how he does it. But uh, they will go for two, and with no Terror Blade to 50, I don't know if they have enough damage here. Fada, Yapsor is the hero that they're waiting for, and he is back. They're going to try to wait for someone to defend the bottom lane, perhaps, and jump on him. Fada's definitely thinking about it, but Resolution, BKB, jump in sight. No BKB available here. 100 seconds, Lina is dead. And Fada is going to get lassoed, but his Aegis is going to mean that they don't have to actually go and save him. They can let him die. At least for right now, and you have a BKB for a second life. They buy out 
on resolution and bottom may need some help here. The stocks oh. are gonna land perfectly on the mark. BKB not used just yet. It's a little bit too late. As five to damage will take him down, but now they have to deal with everyone else. Mid one is in the front lines right now, not where he wants to be. He's gonna get caught with the stuns and will be brought down, giving the gem over to OG. Rolling forward, looking for more. Yapsor is gonna reflect up. Pretty much everyone has a blink out of here. Maybe no, can't quite get it out. Now they're on to the life stealer as well. They lift him up. Ace gonna try to TP out of here. Lasso is not available. They sunder him for damage. It's not gonna do enough. There it is. This is an arcane rune terrorblade. So even more illusions. He'll have another metamorphosis sooner. Let's see what mid one can do. Invoker is pretty much the king of defending high ground. Oh, Ace is caught. Bat Batrider is actually gonna jump in on someone else instead. It's the life stealer who is in a lot of trouble, but with the rage, will actually consider turning around onto Jerax. Not quite enough damage there. Disarm goes off on a no-tail resolution as well. Kind of getting bottled up here in this choke point. Sunstrike does land perfectly onto the Terra Blade, but no more chase. No, there is chase. Mid one gonna blink forward. Finds the poor, poor witch doctor. And oh, he's not get taken down that. by the summons. They're also looking at no-tail. Trying to TP out. Kick out from Jerax. Oh. Will prevent them from actually stunning him. That's gonna cost Jerax's life, but Jerax not to be outdone by Yapsor's clutch plays is gonna make a clutch play of his own securing them their terror blade mid one though still wants in on s4 who is gonna have that gem to give over back to no secret. buyback on him and yeah he doesn't have a buyback so it's just two maybe three versus five right now as secret are going to push in once more perhaps to finish off that mid racks but we do have fada his radiance is on with the shadow blade which is <laughs> not exactly sneaky but uh, still, this is going to be really tough for OG to defend against. We'll have the what? Witch Doctor buyback as well, but just 15 seconds respawn. They will actually expend it. This range rack was pretty much forfeit anyway, so I'm not entirely sure if that timing was uh, really what they want. But the secret, they do want everything right now. They're going to look for the Mega's resolution with the LSA. We'll land it onto Ace with Little Blade. Give you quite a bit of damage, but it will be stolen once again by Yapsor Ace with the auras from Puppy. We'll just take no damage from that Lena's right clicks. And he also has that AC, of course. He will be able to slip out to safety, provide a little more damage with that Assault Curass for his team to right-click down these buildings. Fada gonna jump right in the scythe onto the No-Tail Terror Blade. They'll take him down with the Laguna Blade, perfectly layered onto him. He's down for 100 seconds. They may bring down Ace, they may not, but ultimately it doesn't even matter because Resolution, he's gonna have to kill himself as Jerax is gonna run off to the back side of the fight. He will survive, but his base will not. The game will be ended in favor of Secret. My god, you jump in, you scythe a Terra Blade, and then you drop everything on him, including a Laguna Blade stolen. Yeah, it works pretty well.